Welcome back to another episode of SolidWorks Tutorials. So we've got project assignment number six, shaft support. We need to notice that all dimensions are in millimeters. So we'll set, we'll go down to this IPS down here and set it to MMGS. So that's in metric now. Um, and our material, we can go ahead and set that. It's AISI 1020 steel. So just go down to AISI 1020, hit apply and close. And now we are ready for sketching. Hit the top plane, normal to, and we'll start our sketch. Uh, it looks kind of diamond shaped, so just go ahead and start a diamond here. It's kind of uh, so. Wait a minute. Uh, get those two points to merge. Okay. So we know the arcs on the outside. There's two of them here. They are 22 millimeters. Move those out again. And then we have two other arcs up here, R40. Come on. This one's a little tricky to do because it's it seems to have issues, so R40. Come on, why is it doing this? Practically tangent. I know they're tangent, sir. Uh, let's not that. Um, fill it. Let's try this again. Ah, here we go. So you just have to manipulate it to get this to work. Uh, and then hit the check here. So now we have our are all our fillets. Um, and the way we will set the constraint is with the two little circle holes. So just go ahead and draw the circles over here. And we'll set them as 15 millimeters. And add a relation to the other circle to set them equal to each other. And then here's where it gets fun. So the center of this point and the center of that arc need to be together. And you gotta do it on the other side, center of that point to that arc together. And then now when you set the dimension, this guy to this guy, and you say 100, stuff gets more constrained and what is the remaining bit let's see what are you trying to do ah so uh there's a note here that says the two r40 arcs at the base share the same center as the base so that means this point and this point, you'll add a relation there and you'll merge those and bam, it, everything becomes constrained. Uh, so now you can just check out of this. There's your sketch. You'll do features, extruded boss base, and this is 18 millimeters thick, uh, mid plane. Hit the check, and there's your part. We'll go ahead and do the next sketch here. Uh, start it from the right plane, and normal to. And then start your sketch. 
and it's this uh, triangular shape. You're trying to get it to be alongside the, uh, no, not triangular, more trapezoidal. You're trying to get it along the surface here, so just kind of sketch it like that. And then you're going to add a relation to this face and collinear. And that way it's on there. Um, it's 67 millimeters wide at the base. Um, don't worry that it did that. We will fix that. We need to find the midpoint of that line. If I can find the midpoint of that line, there it is. And we'll snap that to the center. Uh, delete that. Coincident. Okay. And then the next step here is you have this circle. The circle kind of is how everything becomes constrained. So go ahead and draw a random circle here. You can actually, you could do the diameter from the get-go, but I'm just going to do a random circle and another random circle and then start dimension. We're going to do 46 millimeters there and 30 millimeters there. Uh, these are concentric. Let me just make sure that they are. And the height of this to, you know, you can't really tell from the sketch if it's the top or the bottom. I'm going to say it's from the bottom of the sketch, like so. Uh, hold up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. And you'll say 76 millimeters, so it comes up a little bit. And you just have to play around with it a little bit. And set everything to tangent like that. Uh, this point has to be aligned with that face again, coincident. That'll make everything even. And then what's holding us up? What is going on with this? Ah, okay. So we just need to have the line has to be tangent with the circle, like so. So now you've got things constrained. And then um, we're going to go ahead and trim entities, but say keep trimmed entities as construction geometry and trim that line right there. And that line right there, there, and there. And then get out of that. And this should give us our part. Let's hit the check and then go to extruded boss base, mid plane, and let's see how thick is it? 18 millimeters thick. And there's the first part of your sketch but then it's like a tubular kind of thing going on. So you want to uh, go back into sketch along the, the right plane and normal two, 
And what you'll do is click on the circle, say convert entities, click on the arc, convert entities, and let's see if we can see the rest of the circle. Uh, you cannot. So let's see, maybe, you know, you, you could, what you could do is just, uh, let's get rid of this line. You could just draw a whole new circle starting from that point up there and make sure that it snaps to the line up there. Uh, and we'll just add a relation that they become co-radial and that'll give us our circles. And we don't even have to worry about dimensioning them because the previous sketch dimensioned them already. So you just hit the check and extruded boss base, mid plane, and that should be 40 millimeters. So 40. There's your part. And if you notice, there's a whole bunch of fillets all over the place that are three millimeter radius. And we'll do a face fillet. So on the blue box on the left, click your first set of faces, and which will be this trapezoid. And in the pink box, you'll click this face. And notice how automatically it shows you all this fillet. But this fillet's too big. It should be three millimeters. Hit enter and hit the check. So that's your first fillet. Then you can come back in here, fill it, do a regular fillet, and you can go around and click the edges of this trapezoid and make sure it's all three millimeters and hit the check. And finally, we have a fillet all the way around. there and it'll autom it should automatically go all the way around like that when you click one of the lines of the the part because it's all one edge and you have also three millimeters you hit the check and your part should be complete this way okay so now we we'll go into evaluate and click on mass properties. So in the mass properties, you'll see all the properties of the part and you're looking for the mass, which is uh, 1,751.73 grams. So it's about a kilo and three quarters and the volume is shown here 221,000 cubic millimeters and that's all you that's all you need to find thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe for more content